I need a shirt. Better. I don't like wearing the t-shirt and the bug jacket because I guess I'm, what I'm saying is I understand why women complain about being hot when they wear nylons. These things are not cool. Welcome to the Econo Challenge and welcome to my not so wild vlog number 17. It's going to be a bit of a, uh, I don't know, nature video. I'm testing out a bunch of stuff and yes, thanks to Suge, I'm trying out sleeves. <laughs> I'm still here, you're still here, if you're watching this video, so congratulations. Sorry you haven't seen very many videos from the Econo Challenge channel, but the premier of my province, which is Ontario, made Crown Land camping illegal. But I'm, 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 I'm going crazy not being able to be out in the wilderness for longer than a day. You can check this out for yourself, don't take my word for it, but I believe the Japanese call this forest bathing. And I'm also under the impression that it has clinically been proven to have beneficial effects for your immune system. So why our province made going out into the wilderness where you can be a champion of social distancing, I, I, I fail to understand the logic, but I'm trying my best to follow. Well, I think I can hear the black flies tagging off with the mosquitoes as they retreat to the woods, and the mosquitoes come and join me. So, this is the perfect time for me to make my dinner before I go home.
Okay, she's flown off the nest for a second, so we're just going to see if we can give you a close-up. Well, she's gone. So there it is, right there. And you can't see anything. She covers it up before she leaves. <laughs> so cool. So cool. The deer doing zoomies. This final segment is for all of you who have watched to the end of this video. It normally gets uploaded as its own separate video, and we like to call it, What Happened Here? A segment where we ask you, our YouTube audience, to help us solve a forest mystery. This little guy is an American red squirrel, quite common across most of Canada. But this guy was particularly interested in one spot on this white paper birch tree. We guessed it was about 15, maybe 20 feet up the tree, and it seemed to be jumping back and forth between two small spots in the same part of the tree. We could also notice that it looked like there was some woodpecker activity around the same area. Now this squirrel stayed in this spot, repeating the same behavior for hours this morning and if I'm not mistaken do those look like bees pestering him see them flying around the side of his head this is not the only squirrel we saw interested in this particular spot so whatever this guy's found is worth defending I know in one of my previous episodes I said I was going to try and get some audio of wolves, um, but hey, fighting squirrels. Anyway, if you guys have any idea what this squirrel is doing up this birch tree, please leave a comment down below and help us figure out what happened here. Thanks for watching my not so wild vlog number 17. Really appreciate your views. I've got a link up here if you want to watch all of my Not So Wild vlogs. You can also click on the icon if you haven't already subscribed. Or maybe check out one of my other videos. Thanks a lot for stopping by. And we'll see you in the comments. Bye for now.